I can't believe people think they want my job. Uh, third hunt of the year. Only got 10 more to go. I've already eaten, I don't know, a dozen rotten <laughs> meals. Sleeping in sleeping bags on a pad on the ground for days on end. Don't ask me why. My wife asked me why. <clears throat> but she knew I wasn't all there when she married me. <clears throat> I think I need to start a, a video blog called You Want to Be a TV Host. And every day I answer a new question about why you don't want to be a TV host and why you do want to be a TV host. <clears throat> couple tickets to that. <clears throat> if you want to start your own TV show, there's three ways you do it. Rob a bank, find someone to pay all the costs for you, or be independently wealthy when you start. Because if you're independently wealthy when you start, odds are you're not going to be when you're done. All you guys who email me and ask me that, that's the deal. That's how you start a TV show. And if you want to really know how you start a TV show, you better have a good idea. You better have a wife that will put up with you being gone for 100 days each year and hunting and then another 30 days for trade shows and sponsor stuff. And then on top of that, you need to have the ability to just turn down or walk away from a lot of opportunities that you otherwise would chill. You better have a passion and you better have some money because what most of you don't know is we don't, our content that we produce is not bought by the network. We go to the networks and we buy the time. In other words, you write them a check for hundred to two hundred thousand dollars and they give you X amount of commercial minutes. You got to then go around, go back around and sell those 30 second commercials. And that's how you recoup your money. Plus all your production costs. I know, now you're saying, who would do a model like that? Tune in again next week for Randy's words of wisdom about why you do and why you don't want to start a hunting TV show. I gotta go kill an elk.